have a great day. Hi. What can I do for you today, sir? Hi. My name is John. I appreciate what you do for this neighborhood. Your pizza is making a difference. Well, thank you, John. You know, when we opened, we were just a small shop with a simple mission to... Right, right, listen. I represent a large institution, and we're interested in buying a significant number of your pizzas. Oh, okay, great. Well, our cheese pizzas are $10. Great. And then I've done some number crunching and determined that we're going to need 10 per month, and I can pay $8 per pie. Oh, and I'll need them to be Sicilian. Oh, but the Sicilian pies are more expensive. That won't cover my costs. Oh, well, I'm sure you can just find someone who will be willing to make up the difference. Who? Well, maybe do a couple black tie events, you know, honor some people. I'm concerned about the impact on quality at that price. And, you know, my reputation is at stake. Of course, but just imagine how much more efficient you would be with 20% less than what you should be given. But I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of other pizza places around here. I mean, if it's too much work. It's okay. You know what? I've got an oven that's been on the fritz, and maybe the steady business will help pay for repairs. Oh, I would love to help with that, but 100% of what we give to you must be spent on ingredients, okay? We, we do not pay for overhead, okay? See, none of this money can be used for utilities, rent, marketing, pizza boxes, or your salary. Especially not your salary, no, no. No pizza boxes? And how am I supposed to deliver them? Oh, well, there's a place in Bushwick that is completely sustainable. They deliver your pizza using solar-powered drones on recycled recycle bins. I don't have those. Okay. You can spend 5% on pizza boxes, 10% on dough, 5% on tomatoes, 10% on cheese, and the rest on spices. See? It's all spelled out here in this pizza-making plan. I'm the one who knows how to make the pizzas! Yeah. No, of course. Of course. What you want to do is just fill out this paperwork, okay? You make any of the stipulated adjustments to your business model, and then after a few site visits and several audits, payment should start rolling in about six to nine months. A site visit? Yeah. Uh, as you see here on page 47, okay, your chef will either have to have been nominated for a James Beard Award, competed on Iron Chef, or taken anger management classes from Gordon Ramsay. I serve pizzas. A James Beard Award, huh? Most of my cooks can't even grow a beard. Hi. Uh, oh, hey. Uh, where did that other guy go that was just here? Uh, he got transferred to a different department. <laughs> I'll be making the orders now. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. His expectations are a bit, uh, unreasonable. You're telling me. <laughs> you saw. I know, right? Um, so I would like four dozen falafel sandwiches. Oh, we don't make falafel sandwiches. Well, that's what we need. And I also need you to track each and every one of your expenses on this ancient scroll. Use the feather pen. It has the blue ink. Nice to meet you. And uh, really, you are making a difference with each falafel sandwich. Oh, yeah. That's You don't have to put up with that. You and other pizza places are providing a valuable service to our community, and we should be backing you up and not making you jump through hoops. Listen. I would like to order a large supreme pizza. And someone told me that you have an oven on the fritz, so here is $100 to go towards fixing that. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you come back. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 absolutely not. I only buy pizza from the same pizza place once because otherwise I keep coming back, you get dependent on me, and that would be so. Oh. Okay.